Ray, great to see you. Zentech just announced final results of HVAC phase two testing. And correct me if I'm wrong, but these seem extraordinary. Hi, Tracy. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, we're very excited to have the final report in hand from the phase two testing of the ISC challenge, which began over a year ago and was completed in December of last year. And we finally got the report that we can now share with the market. And we are so excited. I can't even uh, describe to you how we're feeling at Zentech right now about these numbers. Well, okay. So the numbers in general seemed outstanding and really um could you just talk to talk us through them a little bit because i think many people out there may not appreciate how extraordinary these numbers actually are sure so what we've done tracy is we've developed an antimicrobial coating that can be applied to hvac filters and the idea behind our uh, antimicrobial coating is to improve the filtration efficiency of an existing filter with respect to airborne pathogens, so aerosolized pathogens. What we learned through the pandemic is that COVID-19, for example, travels in a sneeze, uh, a sneeze droplet or a cough droplet. They were getting brought into HVAC systems and spread to a much wider area. So this was a very, very big issue. Most HVAC systems in existing buildings and schools and homes uh, are MERV-8. And what that means is it's a, a minimum of efficiency rating value of a filter. And simply what that means is how much particulate can it actually pull out of the air? The higher the number on a MERV filter, the more particulate it pulls out. Well, what we found out was that the MERV-8 filters in existing infrastructure wasn't sufficient enough to pull out the COVID-19 virus. So they, that's where we were getting these mass spreading events. So what the CDC said was that uh, any existing uh, filter should be changed to a MERV-13 and a MERV-13 would remove COVID from the air. The problem with moving to a MERV-13 is it's between two to three times expensive as a MERV-8 it, the amount of energy required to push air through a MERV-13 goes up substantially because you're talking about much smaller pores. Therefore, you need more force behind the air to push it through. So you have a substantial increase in energy costs, 15 to 20%. And the third thing, the existing air handlers weren't meant to force that much air through uh, a MERV-13. They were built for MERV-8s. So what building managers were finding is that their existing HVAC systems were breaking down. So for a very, very small portion of the population, this was a way to mitigate COVID. But for the mass, for the, the, the vast majority of the population, the, the industry needed to come up with a better mousetrap for a MERV-8. And that's what we've done. We have now demonstrated that by putting our antimicrobial coating on a MERV-8 filter, you can uh, increase the pathogen filtration efficiency by almost five times what an uncoated filter can provide. So this is, to the best of our knowledge, this is a best-in-class solution. Uh, we haven't seen any other data in the market that comes anywhere close to this. So you can see why we're very, very excited about the news that we released today. Well, it sounds both disruptive and simple, which is always a competitive advantage. As you mentioned, putting in these MERV 13s require uh, slow down the air conditioner, the air, the, the flow, the airflow, correct? That is correct. And that's what we, we like to say that this is a simply elegant solution because it doesn't require a new HVAC system. It doesn't require new air handlers. You're simply taking that filter that you have in your furnace now, we're just putting a coating on the surface of it and you're getting this substantial boost in filtration efficiency. If you think about any parent out there that's sending their child to school, would you rather have a Zen coated filter or an uncoated filter when you know that the Zen coated filter is going to remove almost five times as many pathogens as an uncoated filter? And that's just with one air exchange. And in most environments, there's three to six air exchanges per hour. So we have a, uh, a, a great curve with respect to reducing pathogens over time. 
So what are we going to do now to get these into as many MERV-8 filters as possible? What's the plan of action? That's a great question, Tracy. So what we've done now is we're now starting to share the phase two data report with interested parties from governments to private sector entities to hospitals. Uh, there's been a, a lot of focus in this area. As you know, there's been hundreds of billions of dollars that are being made available uh, to, to help schools upgrade and improve air quality across the US in particular and Canada. So we are now getting this data to those uh, groups that have the ability to press the button and buy Zengard coated filters. Uh, we have one step to go. We need to get uh, Health Canada approval for it. That's through the PMRA or Pesticide Management Regulatory Authority. It's another branch of Health Canada, but if you remember, uh, we successfully had our, our uh, personal protective equipment approved by another branch of Health Canada about a year and a half ago. So we're using a lot of the data from that process for the PMRA, and we hope to have our products in the market uh, in the not too distant future. Amazing. Great. On behalf of everyone at Investor Intel, congratulations, and thank you so much for the update. Thank you, Tracy.